Welcome back to Andy's Guides. In today's video, we are going to show you a detailed comparison between Miro and Mural. How are they different? So, let's see. Now, to begin with, Miro and Mural are two of the most popular online collaboration tools, especially in the realms of visual thinking, brainstorming, and remote teamwork. I believe, and most people do, both platforms provide digital whiteboards that facilitate real-time collaboration, but of course, they have different strengths, features, and use cases. Now, let's go over with Miro. Now, we have a long video about Miro against FigJam that you might want to see in our channel, okay? But basically, Miro has an intuitive and clean interface that is easy for new users to navigate. You see, here are the dashboard wherein you can simply go to the new board. And we're going to have templates to work with. Now, the thing is, Miro's interface is very user-friendly with a focus on simplicity and ease of use. As you can see, it has a structured layout that guides users in creating and organizing content effectively. Now, you can explore um, templates here. There's a lot that you can work with. For example, you wanted to preview that before using. Okay, if you think that this is going to be the board that you're going to use, you might want to click on the use template. And again, after doing so, you have multiple options here that you can... It's a preset of ideas and templates, and the Miro tools provides a wide range of features, including sticky notes, template tags, shapes, connectors, voting timers, and presentation mode. You see, after working with the um, a, a specific whiteboard here, you can simply click on the uh, share option wherein you can name this board. All right, say, uh, for example, this one. Click on save and you have an option to enter the emails or invite people from slack google or microsoft all right now you also have an option to of course give a level of access to the contributors if you're working with multiple freelancers to your clients your boss and to whoever of course you can set the permission and the authority all right you can embed you can publish and there's a lot that you can do now not only that basically when you see the option right here on the more apps you see, Miro integrates with a variety of tools, including Jira. All right, there you go. Let's see. GitHub, if you want to click on all. There's Confluence, Slack, Google Workspace, Microsoft Teams, Asana, Trello, and many more. This makes it highly versatile and suitable for integration into existing workflows. We have a, a lengthy video about Miro, so you might want to check that. I'm not going to focus on this anymore because it's really easy to use and it's, um, it's a walk in the park. However, I'm going, I'm switching to the next contender, which is Mural, which I think is also a popular and online collaborative tool designed for brainstorming, mapping ideas, and visual collaboration. Now, you see, it has intuitive drag and drop interface like this one that makes it easy for users to create and organize content now it supports real-time collaboration allowing multiple users to work on the same mural simultaneously they have the timer you can put that for example you're on a deadline you can choose the sound for the deadline like this one and of course you can also put in voting of course if you're working with multiple users collaborators and different freelancers you might want to work on that all right you can implement the start voting seat session and there's a lot that you can use. You can use the toolbar right here. So you can enable the template, shapes, and connectors, icon images, mind maps, tables, and a lot more that you can work with. Basically, it offers a wide range of templates for different purposes, such as brainstorming, wherein you can put in the real-time comments for the users here, so that everyone can input their um, ideas and um, feedback. And this saves times and helps structure meetings instead of, you know, going for um, an online meeting in different platform. You might want to do that as here as well. Of course, you can give uh, access, level of access to different collaborators here. You can have a pending invitations, all members and guests. And of course, you can invite people via their email. Okay. 
who can of course edit or only view all right of course anyone that to give the link can edit view and no one outside the workspace can access via that all right so this features fosters a sense of uh team unity and collaboration um in that particular area now if you hover down uh in the upper right corner you see you can simply get to the apps like miro miro integrates with popular tools like these as you can see all right uh um atlation figma of course we have a separate video for that you might want to check that on our channel google workspace all right onedrive jira sprint base webex dropbox and a lot more of course the google workspace um ecosystem but the thing is if you wanted to upgrade with github and jira you might want to upgrade to connect the thing is if you do that you see there is a um 99 per month for a team with unlimited murals to collaborate with your team if you wanted to choose that you might want to do so but of course you might want to check the uh, features that you can um leverage and utilize while having this team plus subscription plan if you wanted to scale up to the business i highly suggest you talk with a sales professional first before you dive into this big commitment that's going to be 17 dollars per 99 per member when billed yearly all right so if you're looking for more plan details you might want to check this later okay but for now let's hover down again to the um web workspace dashboard now you see you can use and create a variety of diagrams maps and visualizations the platform supports sticky notes and of course a lot more Im images text shapes connectors providing somewhat like a versatile canvas all right so there's a lot that you can work with and of course the one of the best features is the uh, chatbot here right if you encounter any problems along the way for example you're still navigating and testing waters about the mural dashboard you might want to get some answers here all right so maybe let's ask the chatbot here and start conversation to see if we get an answer now our verdict is that mayro is the better choice if you need a highly versatile customizable platform with extensive integration options and a broad range of templates and tools I believe it's ideal for teams that require flexibility in how they use the platform and for those who need a tool that can scale with complex projects. On the other hand, Mural is the better choice if your focus is on structured collaboration sessions, design thinking, or workshops where facilitation tools are crucial. It's a strong contender for teams that prioritize a guided collaboration and process-oriented workflows, all right? Ultimately, the best choice depends on your specific needs, team size, and the type of work you're doing. Both platforms offer free trials. You can experiment with each of to see which one better suits your workflow, all right? All you're going to do is go to their respective websites, for example, Miro. And again, it's free to create right here. So you have an idea what you, what you're going to deal with because... It's really free but again you just have to upgrade if you needed more advanced features and tools to perform with your needs all right same thing goes with mural all right all you're gonna do is sign up for free and both has tools that is ideal for small teams or simple projects due to its pricing and feature set and that's it for today's video thank you so much for watching we will see you again in the next one